So business in Canada, is it harder for immigrants? Click here the subscribe button, set up the alert, and if the content of this video is useful, let us know by clicking the like button. So there's a basic premise here that I hear from a lot of immigrant business people in Canada. My business should be doing better. And this typically comes in three different ways. The first is that people believe that they should have more sales now. They should be selling more, more volume. Also, the conversations they have, people believe they should have a better conversion rate. Well, I talk to X number of people to only close Y number of business. So I should have a better conversion rate. And also uh, people believe they should have quicker sales cycles. It's like it takes forever, you know, to, to get a client. I would be talking and talking and then people disappear or people never sign on the line and formalize. That's the first uh, type of premise I hear from people. The second thing has to do with the operations where people believe the operations should be easier. And they're like, hang on a second. People tell me all the time that bureaucracy in Canada is great. Uh, everything is set up to, to help the businesses but that's not my experience somehow. That's what people tell me, right? And they typically mention, well, you know, things with the bank are really difficult. Uh, the bank is not flexible or my accountant doesn't address the points that I need or my lawyer doesn't give me straight answer or my employees or the relationship with my employees. It's hard to find good ones. And then comes a, a final thing that wraps all these together that people seem to believe, and that's a speculation, but they seem to believe that, wow, if I was doing what I'm doing here back home in my country of origin, I would be way ahead by now. Let me say a few things about this line of thought, okay? So my notes about these are two things, right? Well, first, there are many, many very successful businesses that are owned and operated by immigrants in Canada. I am in Canada for 25 years and throughout my entire career here, which a lot of it was with banks lending money to businesses, I've dealt with many successful immigrants that operate businesses in Canada. So that's not entirely true for everybody, right? A lot of people do very well. So what may be happening in your case, if you feel that sales is tough and operations is tough, what may be happening, right, in your case, is what we're gonna talk about in this video. So let's look at what is happening and how to fix it, right? So what is happening is that we may be focusing on the wrong problems. And this focus, we believe that what's making things harder for us is not at all what actually makes things harder. Let me be more specific here. Let's clarify this. Let's look at sales, for example, right? What I hear from a lot of immigrant uh, entrepreneurs, immigrant business operators in Canada on the sales front, it's like, well, you know, the Canadians are really close minded. I, I try to show them that what we do, what we sell has all these and that and other benefits, but they seem to think in very simple terms. They only want one thing and, and they don't seem to see the value in everything else that I do for them. That's one complaint I hear a lot. The other complaint that I hear is that people are like, well, these people don't seem to trust me. And, and, and some people even think there may be some type of prejudice. Yeah, why, why is it? It's because I'm not from here, because I, I have a, a name that people find it hard to pronounce or because I have an accent. So there's all these, in my opinion, wrong beliefs of why things are not working, right? Uh, the other thing that people uh, seem to think about the sales process here is that it's very slow, that Canadians are uncommitted to, they're unwilling to make a commitment to, to make the purchase, or they're inflexible. They say, yeah, but I want this, but you say, well, but let me show you that. And like, so th this seems to be all the wrong problems, by the way. What I'm saying here is like, this is not what's going on. If you believe in all this, you're probably not focusing on the right things, and that's why you're not getting the results, okay? But let's just talk about the operation side because we have the similar situation. What I hear people complaining in terms of the operations is, well, you know, when I talk to my service providers, my banker, my accountant, and like the people, my suppliers, they seem to be offering me just off the shelf solutions. They're not creative. They don't make an effort to adapt. They don't understand that my case is different. The other uh, comment I hear a lot is, oh, they only want my money. And I just for talking to them, they already want to start charging me, right? And again, wrong problem. None of this is a true actual problem that makes it harder for the business 
to succeed in Canada. But this seems to be what a lot of immigrant business people believe in, okay? The speculation that you would be doing better back home takes one very important assumption that we don't think about. Think about this. When you were learning how to drive a car, it was very hard to do all things. And again, most of us, if we came from emerging countries, we learned how to drive a manual transmission or what we call here in Canada, stick, stick shift. It's hard to get everything going at the same time. So when you're learning, first learning how to drive a manual transmission car, that seems to be very hard. But you know what? Nowadays, most of us do that without even thinking. And what is that? That is implicit knowledge. That means you already know a lot how things go and how things work to the point that you don't even think about it. So the problem a lot of you may be facing in Canada when you're trying to have success in your business and focusing on the wrong things is because you're ignoring a lot of things that are obvious to Canadians that you're, you're missing the point and you're tending to focus on things from your standpoint. So what can we do then to make your business easier for you in Canada and to succeed and, and finally achieve the results you think you can achieve? Well, we do have here our platform, Your Business in Canada, where side by side with you, we will guide you through the process. Click the link here if you want to come aboard with another group of immigrant entrepreneurs. But let me give you here the general guidelines of what you can do to make your business easier in Canada. Let's talk about sales. Remember, we're talking about sales and operations. Sales first. In Canada, sales usually, it will be a gradual process, step by step. And why? Because in Canada, people value relationships many times more than the transaction. And that means also that you will only do business with people you already trust. And it's relatively slow to build trust with somebody you don't know. So it's natural that there will be a different timeline. Back home, it's easier. Why? Because of the implicit knowledge, you're driving the car without thinking about it. People already know that they can trust each other. Here, different cultures, different ways of looking at things, people are still sizing up. It has nothing to do with prejudice or not understanding the accent, nothing to do. They're just trying to see, yeah, but do they really understand what I need? And the second thing, it's really fundamental to understand that in sales, you will need to have a sales process discipline. It starts with a laser focus from the client's standpoint. So if they are thinking about one problem that they have that they think you can solve, that's all you should be talking about. Don't start to tell them about all other wonderful things you can do for them because you're going to confuse them, you're going to distract them, and they're going to second guess if you really can deliver what they're expecting you to deliver, right? So laser focus from their standpoint. Second thing, you need to be ready with different materials, marketing materials, way to present information for different steps in the process. Early in the process, they may only want to see a one pager to decide if they want to talk to you. Then later on, they may want to see case studies, how you solve the problem for other people. And later on, they may want to get into the details. Say, okay, sure, show me how you're going to do it. You don't bring that to the front and start from the get go trying to tell them how to build a clock before you tell them what time it is, right? So it's like very important to understand the need for different materials for different steps. And the third and final point in sales is that you do need to have a discipline and like a periodic, a process. It's a machine. It's not a matter of calling people you know, just a relationship, get a miracle rainmaker to open doors for you. It's about having a system, a CRM, customer relationship management system, and the discipline and the periodicity and every week and every day at some very short period you are revisiting and you're talking to people, giving them time to breathe and you keep your sales focus. So that's it for sales, right? And what about operations? In operations, it's fundamental to understand that in Canada, it is a do-it-yourself country. So there's not gonna be any miracle hire or a miracle person we can bring to the team that they're gonna be able to summarize everything for us. Or there's not a miracle lawyer or accountant or a banker that's gonna take your concerns into consideration. 
everybody's very focused on a narrow spectrum of what the value is that they can deliver. But everybody expects you to stitch things together. You need to stitch in your solution together. That's your role as the immigrant business person, right? And the second thing in operations that's very important too that you can do is that you need to start to put your understanding in writing. And if you have questions, you also put that in writing. So what do I mean by that? If you met with somebody or if you got an email or whatever form of communication, like write down what you understood and say, okay, this is my understanding from our meeting. Please confirm, did I miss anything? Did I understood everything correctly? And, and I mean, you do that with confidence. You don't do, oh my God, am I, my accent, I don't understand. That. No, it's okay. You may speak English from the day you were born, but if you come from a different culture, it's not about the language here. It's about the understanding. It's like, did you mean this? Like, so from our conversation, my understanding is this. Please confirm, right? Or I understand that this is what we discussed. Please let me know by Friday if I didn't understand something right. Because then you put on the people the burden to correct you, right? But put your understanding questions in writing. Or if you call to ask the question, later send the email summarizing. Listen, thank you for the call. So thank you for confirming that the answer to this is that. Please let me know. Why I'm saying that? Because Canadians take things in writing extremely seriously because that's what goes to the front of the judge if ever there is any type of dispute. So anything that is in writing, it's what's gonna be valid, right? And if it's something is important to you, it should be in writing always. So you really need to be used to reading and writing in bullet points. It's not about big paragraph and like with a lot of different things, considering different dimensions. Go straight to the point, bullet by bullet. This is what I understand, boom, boom, boom. This is what I would like to know, boom, boom, boom. Focused on the points, okay? So these are some uh, uh, tips here in terms of how you can make sure your business does better in Canada, right? So business, is it harder for immigrants? No, it's not, not because the person is an immigrant. That in itself doesn't make anything harder. What makes it harder is the approach, both for sales and for operations. And we provided some tips here. There's two more videos here that we address topics similar to this that will be helpful to you. Thank you.